Hey guys, my name is David Salem and I'm a born and raised South Florida spear fisherman and today we're spear fishing off the coast of West Palm Beach. The water's pretty warm today so I'm wearing a 1.5 shorty wetsuit. I'll be using my spear gun which is basically an underwater gun that's powered by really thick rubber bands. At the end of the shaft there's a flopper that keeps it from pulling out of the fish. We headed off to our first spot and we are looking for mangrove snapper. I swam down and saw a mangrove snapper underneath the school of amberjacks. I took a deep breath and took the shot and hit him right behind the gill plate. It was a solid sized snapper, so I let go of the gun and I held onto the rope and played a little bit of tug of war with the float line. Even though we were diving 80 feet deep, it just happened to be that there was a serious upwelling going on. The fish were 30 or 40 feet down. Eventually, he got tired and I pulled him up to the surface. We headed to a different spot and I saw a mutton snapper sitting on the bottom. I dove down, tried to swim towards it, lined up, and shot it. And my little cousin thought it was gonna come off the shaft, so he also put a second shot. I dove down and tried grabbing it. Eventually grabbed him, swam up to the surface, and fiddled around with it because there were two shafts sticking out of it, so he was freaking out. I was just pretty shocked to have seen a nice mutt snapper in that shallow water. After being in the water for about an hour, two big African pompano swam up to my friend and I. And to my surprise, the second one swam right towards me. I took the shot and it took off. I swam up to the surface and I was freaking out. My float line went down five or 10 feet and I was playing tug war with it, what felt like 20 minutes, but it was really only five. Once I brought it up to about 30 or 40 feet, it started kicking again and I just, I had to let go. I was too tired. Yo, go. I need help with mine. Once my friends got the first African pompano in the boat, they swam towards mine. Thankfully, we got a second shot off on it and the rest is history. That was probably the most tired I've ever been in the water. Let's go! We brought it up and I realized it was the biggest fish I've ever shot. After sitting in the water for about 10 minutes, I see a cobia out in the distance. And the second I swim down, it starts swimming away. It finally gave me a shot. And I took it and I stoned it. It was lights out. I was pretty stoked because I've never stoned a cobia. I started swimming up to the surface, put the Kobe in the boat, and that was it. Let's go. 
Overall, today was an epic day. We got a nice mango snapper, a nice mutton snapper, a huge African pompano, and a decent sized cobia. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of Salt Life's spearfishing adventures.